Hello friends and welcome back to Warchers. This is it. This is the time we avenge ourselves. But because of that annoying spider, we needed some more money. Which is why we're farming right now through killing this big giant guy with a war hammer. A bit too loud. Now, essentially we're just farming right now. And I got this healer that will just heal me, so yeah. Practically, he's doing no damage. He's making no progress. And we got a juicy 6.3k. I, I forgot to mention that we're using the wizard. And you know why. Well, that answer's obvious because he's the most OP character. If there's one thing medieval games will teach you, or magic games, it's that the wizard is the most powerful character. Or powerful human character. Ah, uh, okay, we have enough cash to kill. After he decides to jump. Look at me, dab! Wizard dab. I think I want to get him. Dead. And our juicy chest. Look at that wizard dab. Ooh, we got 7.2. Now we can spend it on a ton of spells. Which is what every wizard will do, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the gold coins I bought before were part of the soul points, which are used to buy stuff. But apparently, no, it wasn't, so we didn't have any upgrades during that time, so yeah. Hey, at least we made it this far without any upgrades. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, so these are the soul points that we used to buy health. And we're gonna buy health from the assassin, because of that annoying spider that killed us last time. Fireball. Fireball. Yeah, I forgot to mention there's three characters in all. There's the Archer, the Knight, the Archer, the Knight, and this guy, the Wizard. Time to buy some spells. And we're rich. So let's get that. Ooh, wait. Do your job, assassin. Don't worry, you'll take care of all the problems down there. Oh great, he passed out. And next is my new spell. The black hole. Yeah, I also bought some new soul strikes. So, when we get the chance to use this in a while. We meet again, annoying spider. I learned how to dodge. Ow. Kill it. What am I paying for you for, assassin? Out of my way, out of my way. Ha, we dodged it. Two more hits. And we dodged that one. Yeah, also if you're very low health, uh, the healer will just heal you over time. So you can just stay like this for a while. Then it will automatically heal you. But since we have enough health, we'll just go on. See like that. It'll just heal you. Yeah, tip. Fly, fly away. Yeah, for the next spell we need 5-8 or 5.5k. And it's the most powerful one. Some health? Sure. I'm rich. <laughs> I have 38k. Yeah, uh, the knight 
Yeah, it can actually destroy the things. The projectiles, yeah, projectiles. So basically anything that's thrown at you. As long as you're using the knight. But if you're using any other character, then no. Ah, uh, now I feel guilty for killing all those little pups. Yes, heal me. Paid you for nothing. We're nearly 5.5k. Okay, now let me show you what this is. Poop, and then flowers. Poison flowers. So when they step on it, they just die. But I still prefer the second upgrade, the soul. Because it actually heals you, this one's actually useless. Since we really have the assassin actually patrolling down there. Out, sound! Hey, why you pass out? Big giant feathers. Come on, a few more hits. Actually, just a ton more hits. And don't worry about the ravens because they yeah, don't actually do any damage to the tower. But that guy does. Ow. Don't worry about it. Alright, here comes the pup. Ah, I don't feel like using the power. Ow, too many bones. We're rich, and I did not die. Right, everyone? I did not die. Your mind has been erased. I did not die. I paid you. I forget that. Ow. Yeah, I killed it. Why didn't you kill that skeleton? You were chasing it. Yeah, uh, the angel also disappeared, but I'll come back later. So then right now, see the angel spawn in, then we just wait till our health comes back. Okay, our health's back, and let's go. Sure, buddy, you can come along. Bath, 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 bath. The frame lag. I can't move. Oh no, he's tired. Okay, we finally killed the pesky spider. Which is why we're getting this. Now, that wizard may look like an old man, but that old man has a trick up his sleeve. He has this multiply spell. And a bunch of orbs, because he's too rich right now. Haha! <laughs> ha! You can practically shoot anything out of bounds. Like a star. We. Oh, what's the matter? Did you bird drop you? Oh, spider. And I'll constantly hit that balloon guy also. Boop. This would be like plants vs. zombie, and you get that star fruit plant. That you would abuse every time if you have the potential. I mean the ability. Oh, look, it's a dragon! Ow, ow, ow. Don't worry, we, we hit him ow once. Wait, should I be shooting the gem or his forehead? Oh, I think I should be shooting his forehead. But it seems like these things are doing the job. Ow, 
Ah, uh, Mr. Assassin, do your job. Uh -oh. The burning you feel? It is shame. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> My chest. And we're close to the last level. If you're wondering, have I ever defeated the boss? Yes, I did. But I didn't record it. You must also be wondering where that 38k came from. Where this beautiful 35k came from. Yeah. All that beautiful hard work has paid off. They see me rolling, they hate it, patrolling and trying to kiss me right in the head. Yeah, if we get to see the merchant again, then I'll maybe give you a tour on what to get in case you're planning to go for the wizard. Because the wizard is the most OP character. I mean, most most normal character. So basically, you should get. Um, yeah. Here, uh, just get the healer. There'll be one guy, it's like a ghost. He'll just shoot random stuff and he's completely useless. Mm -hmm. Then go for the healer immediately. Then you can start farming once you reach like level 4. That's where the guy with the hammer is. And then, after that, you can. Start getting the spells, the one on the most left. That's the most useful one, not the tornado. Then yeah, that's exactly it. Then you can just spend the rest of your money buying orbs and potions. Tada! Okay, let's go. Ow! Ow! First two tiny skeletons. Finally, my master is going to give you a lesson. Sure. I'll dab at you. No one can beat the power of dab. Ow. I'm gonna play dodgeball, huh? Huh? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Go, go ahead and try and destroy the tower. I don't, I don't care. Die, die, ow! Okay, two more hits, two more hits, two more hits, two more hits. Then you should get a two more! Why am I jumping? Yeah, it's also annoying sometimes I, I magically jump down for no reason. Now oh, they're taking chunks of my building. And then the boss will respawn. Amazing. And my tower's half gold. If the tower dies, we can't fix it. Ow, I took a hit. Ow, oh, this is annoying, this one's annoying, this one's... Yeah, it's annoying. That's the thing that will kill you the most. But luckily for us, we're rich. Yeah, and I don't think she disappears anymore. This how it's gonna die. I'm more worried about the tower dying. <laughs> because there's no way of fixing that. Yeah, the tower's gone. Well, this is the last battle, but this finish it. Like a man. 
Anyways, it, basically when he died. Yeah, we lost. Shamed. Look at him, so sad. Okay, basically when he dies, uh, that girl, she just gets revived. Yeah, the one we just killed, she just gets revived. And then they have Chitty Chatty, and turns out that she was just possessed. The end. So now we got 46k. What should we do all with that money? Oh yeah, out here. These are the wizard's power-ups. I suggest you don't buy the third one if you're planning to do so. Just buy the second one because that one has the health regen. And like any one with 46k, they would buy all the books. For no reason, because <laughs> they're too rich. Yeah, it's good to be rich. Ah oh, crap. It hang, it hang. Okay, we're back. You know, after it hang. So we have 15,000 by that. And what's the sound test? No idea. Anyways, we're rich, so let's check the vault. Ooh, the sound test. I know. So it just basically changes all the sound. Right here, the story. And time to read a bunch of stories. The kid from the apple. So I'm technically Robin Hood when I'm the archer. In the valley of the fruit trees, there used to there used to live all kinds of kids. One of them called Corlin. Okay, so I'm not Robin Hood. It's not that Corlin was different. He was rather shy, quiet, a good observer. In the valley, each family made their home from the big trunks of the trees. Corlin's family, the Ironwoods, that sounds familiar, like from Game of Thrones, chose an apple tree to live in. That poor tree, they just like carved a hole and just lived in its guts. When Corlin's parents died, he was only six years old, and at that time, his only inheritance was that old apple tree which had strong branches like iron. Still, that poor tree massacred. Soon after that, the fairy Coronia knew that the child was alone, so she began to pay more attention and decided to help him by teaching the carpentry craft and bow hunting. That was how Corlin, from the wood of his home, carved a powerful and strong bow which he used to hunt, achieving over time to become one of the best archers in Baron. Corlin does not like violence, however, but he would do anything for his friend and favorite fairy. I thought like she was the last fairy rem remaining. Apparently there's still more. And they're not bothering to fight the evil, they just go like, hey you do it. Okay. The wizard was not. Sigfus was one of the wisest wizards from the town of Ubhora. But he wasn't so courageous or strong. During the War of the Roses, when the wizards and fairies fought, Sigfus did not pack any of them. Instead, he hid under a hollow rock and did not fight. Yes, neutrality. Coronia, the fairy, realizing this, tried to help him, but Sigfus got afraid and fled, thus getting banished forever and thus getting for banished forever from the town. Wow, that's harsh. Sometime later, on the west side of Baran, Coronia and Sigfus met and developed a friendship, and it is said that Coronia taught Sigfus how to cook. He can spawn in food whenever he likes. Does, that, does cooking even matter to him? Over time, Sigfus has learned to cook and has improved his spells of short and long range. Oh, I guess you're saying cooking and cook spells since you're technically using a, a pot, a giant pot. He still has a grudge against the Opara mages of old. He definitely won't abuse his tower and like trash the entire village. The Sad Knight. There was once a girl named Ophelia. She was the daughter of the blacksmith of the valley. At a young age, she received her first sword as a gift, since she lived near the forest where evil calabs had been seen. Ophelia has spent a lot of time training with her sword. She wanted to be the best 
One day when she was eight, she was training on the trunk near the forest of Caleb when suddenly a Caleb appeared. What the heck is a Caleb? He seemed to have the same age as Ophelia, but the Caleb, instead of attacking as most did, smiled and slowly walked away. Right then, Ophelia knew that Calabs were born good and were taught evil as they grew older. Just like how the world works. When Corone asked Ophelia to help defend the towers, she accepted immediately. I do not remember this. She took it as the best of training which she would ever have. She was saddened by the thought that with each Caleb slain, there was a chance she may kill her old Caleb friend. She had met, she had met near the forest. So I'm guessing everything else that's not human is a Caleb. The fairy who who born from a tulip. Who was born from a tulip, you mean? Fairies have always existed after the pollination of seriously. They're literally just like flower seeds or pollens. A lot of them were born the smartest, hardest working, and most powerful, beautiful from the pre prettiest flowers. From the oldest, most beautiful, and colorful tulip of Baran, a fairy as bright as the sun was born. She was the most beautiful of all fairies. She had enchanting eyes, her voice was soft, and she had a heartwarming smile. Nobody knew her name until a legendary old woman met her and called her Coronia. Or someone just gave her a random name. After an, old, after an old spirit, she once knew. As a child, Coronia liked to draw figures with pollen from flowers. Does that mean that like you're killing your cousins? Then like their blood is a pollen and you're just using to draw. She knew many songs and animals like to hear like to hear her sing. There was never there has never been a happier fairy. Over time she learned all crafts and all songs that existed. She was very wise, noble, full of love and virtues. She is Coronia, the fairy of peace. Or that's what they all say. The nut eater orc. Hey, the guy at the shop. Some time ago, there was an orc who from time to time liked to pick nuts in the forest of fairies. This orc not only found nuts in the forest, he also found and picked up all kinds of objects. Stones, strange gems, colored ar arrowheads, and more. Broken or incomplete objects were repaired, he started to get a big collection of all kinds of stuff. One day, Coronia the fairy lost a very special object, so special that it is said that it resembled the happiness, happiness itself. That object found by the orc, Coronia, realizing that the orc had found what he, what she or what he was looking for. Okay, apparently the fairy is a guy then. What he was looking for, <laughs> decided to give him all seasons nuts in exchange for that precious, for the precious object. Then the orc has fully devoted himself to repairing things he found and selling or giving away do to those in need. The beautiful witch. Some time ago, between ugliness and evil, <laughs> as a lotus flower, a little and beautiful girl was born. This girl was the most beautiful on the old town of Obhora. A, hey, the same place as that wizard guy. Her name was Otelia. Time passed and Otelia grew up thinking there was not a creature more beautiful than her. That changed the day he met the fairies. Since that day, Otelia has obsessed about how there were creatures more beautiful than her. And every day she has seen her grow more envious. Seeing that she wouldn't be able to be prettier than the fairies, she decided to learn witchcraft and find a spell of beauty. However, this had the opposite effect, turning her skin gray and wrinkled. Her powers have grown immensely, but she is still seeking to restore her skin's beauty and color. So all that because they haven't invented makeup. Okay, so I think that's all we can do from this game. Aside if we want to do the balloons. With the wizard. What is that? No. Okay, so this is basically all we can do from this game. And practically for this level, we just get to shoot balloonies. And the other levels are just all endless, so it's pointless. So I think we can end it here now with me blowing up a ton of balloons. Okay then. And 
the wild. Forty seconds. Come on, come on. Yes! Haha, <laughs> found the arrow. Okay, 559. Not bad. Okay, so I think we can leave it here, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.